So in the comments section of my top 10 films of 2021, someone by the name of Riju, not sure if I said that right, but anyway, someone by the name of Riju asked if I could do a review of this film, Manal Murali. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right as well, but this title translates to Lightning Murali. It's an Indian film. I, I guess, I don't know, I guess Bollywood. I don't know much about, I know just peripherally about Bollywood. I was un, of the understanding that Bollywood just meant any film coming from India but I might be completely wrong about that. I have seen the, the, the word Bollywood attached to this movie. So I'm assuming that's what it, it, it's a Bollywood film, whatever. It's a film from India. The person who asked me to do a review of this referred to it as a low budget film, but honestly, you guys, you wouldn't know it by watching this film. It does not appear low budget to me at all. And I'm, I'm aware of, like I said, the, the Bollywood industry and that they put out top quality looking movies as far as the technical stuff about movies, right? You know, the cinematography, the score, just based on the stuff I've seen, like let's say trailers and things like that. So it wasn't really a huge surprise to see how well this movie was made. I mean, the, uh, all of the, the technical stuff in this film, it's right on up there with, with the top tier things in Hollywood, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it's just, okay, I'm not gonna compare it to, to things that are super heavy on digital effects, okay? So let's, let's not count those. I'm just talking about very well-made Hollywood productions. And this was right on up there with that. I mean, they, the cinematography, the score, the action, the acting, the sound, the editing, and the story, the quality of this story was really, really good. Very solid writing. It was surprisingly emotional and at the same time, surprisingly hilarious. I mean, I knew that there was humor oftentimes woven into different Indian films, like, like there is in any genre. I mean, not genre, but like there is in any sort of place where people make films there's humor but like the humor in here was it was it was kind of it was really comical in some parts and I guess I wasn't expecting that I think I was I think I went into it because I knew it was a superhero type of movie if I didn't say that before which I, I don't think I did this is a superhero film a superhero film let me lay down the premise so it takes place in this little town area. I don't even remember the name of the place, but I love this little town. It was so cute and colorful and had the coziest looking little houses and little buildings. And it was like a small town where everybody knew everybody else. And so people were just kind of like sort of in each other's business or if not in each other's business, they knew everything about what was going on pretty much with, with people. So anyway, the premise of the story is there's a tailor in the city and his name is Jason or something like it. it. It almost looked like Jason, Jason, whatever, that guy, him. And there's also another person in the town that, so the story revolves around both of these men. There's another person in the town and he's kind of, he's like a social outcast. He's, he's a very sympathetic character and he, he has this longing for this particular woman. He's loved her his whole life, and but he's just been very mistreated by the people around him. And so on this particular night, there's some sort of lightning or strange storm that happens, and both of these men get struck by lightning. And they both develop certain superpowers. And so when this story was happening, I was like, okay, so these two men, one's going to be the antagonist, one's going to be the protagonist. And at some point in the story, you know, they're going to come head to head. They're going to have this final battle and, and stuff like that. That That is pretty much what happened. But the story, the journey getting to that point was very well crafted. Yeah, there might have been some areas that could have had some improvement, like some things, some events that were happening and it felt like that maybe uh, certain deductions that characters made were, were a bit too snappy and quick and I wasn't quite sure if maybe there were parts that had been edited out. 
that included the journey that these characters made in their mind to figure certain things out. I don't want to get too specific about stuff, but just that those are very, very minor quibbles. This movie is about two and a half plus hours or almost two and a half hours long. It, it's, it's well over two hours. Let's just say that. And it gives, it gives the story plenty of time to breathe, plenty of setup for characters and their, and their development and getting to know different important people in the, the story. And so by the end of the movie, you feel like you really understand these people. You really, you, you get a good feel for it. Not even the end of them. It doesn't even take that long. It's just put together in such a way that you, you get where these people are coming from. You see their flaws because even the main character, this guy, the, the hero guy, he, he is a flawed individual and you see his evolution throughout the story to uh, he, he's quite different from the person that he was in the beginning and i like how that was done he didn't really start off as like a terrible type of person but he had his issues right he wasn't perfect none of the characters in here are really perfect as far as the adults and i mean the children you know they're kind of a little different but the adults they all have their they all have their different personality quirks and uh, different things that make them tick and the way they interact with each other. It's, 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 it's interesting to watch. And so I just, I thought this was a very enjoyable experience and I'm really glad I took the time to watch it. This is the first Indian movie I've watched. I don't think I've watched any other movie from India. I've seen trailers, like I said, but that doesn't count. And so the, you know, I started off with uh, dub and the dubbing wasn't bad, but I thought, well, I feel like maybe I'll just get a better feel for the acting if I can watch it sub subtitled. I don't mind foreign language films, but the problem with them for me and for a lot of people is yes, the subtitles, because the problem with subtitles it takes your attention away from the people and what's going on because you're having to read, but you're also wanting to watch the, the actors. You're wanting to see their facial expressions very clearly. You want to catch everything that's happening. And so your eyes are having to, you know, so it, it, it kind of uh, distracts your attention, divides your attention in other words. And so I really, it, it's times like that, that it's like, man, I really wish I, I could actually just understand the language and, and didn't have to read the words. I could just kind of just dive right into it. But, that's also another minor quibble. It, it did not take away at all, really, from my fundamental enjoyment of this film. I, I felt like it was definitely worth the time taken to watch this. And I'm glad it was recommended because I'm also glad it was the type of film that I generally enjoy. Superhero, you know, action. But there was not a ton of action in here. And this really was a character drama type of film was just kind of superhero stuff was woven into it because there was a lot of focus on just the individual characters and their struggles their their personal struggles and so that's why it didn't really completely feel like your typical superhero film if that makes sense anyway what I was going to say is that as far as different sort of pros about it, which I've already touched on a lot, was that it was surprisingly emotional in, in different parts, but at the same time also pretty humorous. But it wasn't, it wasn't really corny and ridiculous humor. And so I appreciated that. But I, like I said, I wasn't expecting it to be as, as funny in some parts as it was. Uh, I had written down a couple of examples of the humor, like um, the, 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 the police in here, there, there was moments where it was just that their incompetence was pretty comical. And yet at the same time, they weren't completely incompetent because you had at least one or two men on the force who they were starting to figure out things that were up. And so... But yet it, then there was, it was offset by these other cops or two, like a cop or two that were just so, just, they were so, 
it was, it was really comical the the way the subtitles were written i don't know if that's exactly the type of thing they were saying in the original language but just I, you'd have to see it to know what i'm talking about uh, there were also funny moments like when the main character first dons like a, a superhero outfit not this one but like the first one that he decided to put on to to conceal his identity and it was just so crazy because it was like a chicken outfit and it looked just it looked, it looked so ridiculous and I think it was supposed to look obviously it was supposed to look ridiculous it was ridiculous but that was funny and uh, also different little crazy um uh dialogue that I picked up on that it, the one was so funny to me that I had to write it down and I did and there was this part where the bad the bad guy and I say bad because in so many ways he was very sympathetic and I, I just, it was hard to see him as a completely bad type of character, which I really appreciated because everybody was nuanced in here, especially the bad guy, which is what makes for a really, really good bad guy in a movie like this. But there was a part where he was doing some stuff and threatening people and there was th this one character <laughs> said something like oh I just got married my wife is beautiful please don't hurt me <laughs> like that is so ridiculous it was just you know just reminds me of like how you know people are like please don't kill me I have kids and he's like please don't kill kill me my wife is beautiful <laughs> it's like okay <laughs> so it just humor like that built into this story and also the emotional depth of the characters really kind of underscored for me just how much people are alike at their core no matter what culture they're from we all have humor in our life funny moments we all have moments of sadness grief despair loneliness friendship love admiration sacrifice you know, things like this. So just, and these are definitely elements that are, are built into the characters in this story. And so it's just, I, I really appreciated how it, it made me think about that and um, just no, notice it. Not that it was something I wasn't aware of before, but it was just like, I really enjoy seeing how relatable characters from places that are completely unknown to me can come across and just, it, it makes me really um, have an appreciation for this type of this type of uh, art form, movies, storytelling, and how uh, how connected we all are in so in so many different ways, more so than we might would ever even realize or think about. Also, some things, some pros. Uh, I'd mentioned the solid writing, uh, surprisingly emotional moments, the nuanced characters, very relatable. Like I said, I've, I've already touched on that. The flawed main character. I liked the buildup of the different characters and their own storylines and how they were all interwoven in some way with each other. And it takes about, it's about an hour into the story is when you start to see the paths of these two men take take more shape and you start to kind of see what direction things are going to be going in and then about an hour and a half into it things take a really dark turn and you have a very well established antagonist for this for this um, for this film which I've already described who he is but when this happens this is the turn that that takes him out of uh, or sort of muddies the waters with him as far as being a fully sympathetic character. He's still a very sympathetic character, but it's like a line has been crossed and you're like, oh, wow, things got really dark. Things got really, really bad. And then later on, something else happens that's just horrendous and you're like wow things are really going to get intense from this from this point on and and they do pretty much and of course things are led up to a, a final battle like i mentioned and you know, because that's kind of you know it, it does follow the very uh well-used formula you've got the act one 
the beginning and the establishment of what's going to be happening in the plot. Then you've got the middle act two. Things are kind of continuing on. The plot's developing more and more. The characters are taking a more solid sort of root in their story. And then you've got act three, which is the build up, the conclusion, the very massive turning point that leads into act or I don't know, turning point, but like the the event that triggers the very or the conclusion of things that or triggers the beginning of the conclusion, that sort of thing. So it's very, very uh, formulaic type of thing. I'm not formulaic in the sense that it's been done before all the time, but oh, hold on. I've got a doggy who wants me to hold her. Just a minute. Sorry, I knew there was something I was going to forget. I wrote down specific words to describe the quote-unquote bad guy character in here. I forgot to mention his name. It was Shibu. I'm not sure if that's the right way to pronounce it. I don't remember. But I have already mentioned that he's he's a complex bad guy. He's nuanced. He's very sympathetic. And it's true. In some of the scenes, he's very, very... just a, he's, he's such a sad character to me. I felt very sorry for him. And then there would be times when... His character, when I see his character, I don't mean, I, I mean like his internal being, the way that he was, his nature. It would change and just become eerily insidious. I mean, the look on his face was just, it was chilling. And he, he would go very quickly from a pathetic seeming person, pathetic not in a derogatory way, but pathetic because of just the stuff that was going on with him. He, he would go very quickly from someone like that. He could just transition. You could see it in his face. He would turn from someone that's just very pathetic to someone that is creepy as hell. <laughs> it's just, it, it's hard to describe adequately with words, but I think you will know what I'm talking about whenever you watch this movie. Okay, that was it. Back to the video. What was I saying? I think I was saying something about how the the typical formula of storytelling was used in this. So it was, uh, it was certainly a layout, a progression of events that we're all used to when it comes to storytelling in movies. And where was I headed with this? <laughs> I was like, she interrupted my train of thought. Oh, something I mentioned about the uh, how uh, at certain points in the story things were taking turns, uh, turns for the worst, and yeah, things taking turn for worse. Oh my gosh, my I just like completely lost my train of thought with this little monkey dog. She, she wanted to get in my lap. What I was going to say was that about the action scenes, the the fighting and and the choreography and just uh, the different sort of moments of suspense like that that happened that as far as their their superpowers and the way they fought it felt quite organic like it it, it didn't feel like it was something that was ridiculously over the top like so many superhero fights can be i'll give you an example so like you know superman Wonder Woman, as much as I love Wonder Woman, but she's like a demigod, right? She's like this super mega powerful individual. Superman is like almost invincible. And so when there's fights, these are fights that, you know, where they're flying halfway across the world and throwing each other into skyscrapers and stuff like that. This was very different. This felt more grounded in reality. I mean, obviously the things that they were uh, doing certainly weren't realistic, but it wasn't like they were jumping halfway to the moon in their fights and things like that. It was, it was just, it felt some like something that just, it just seemed more realistic. Uh, and so I appreciated that. But tied to that, there were some cons that came to me as I was, I was watching this. So there were moments where uh, they were pretty much invincible to anything that happened to them. Like maybe a, a fist could hit them in the head and they wouldn't move at all. But then there would be other moments where like there's this one scene where I think this this one girl that was fighting with with the uh, the good guy 
and at some point she hits him in the nose and it hurts him and i'm like why would that hurt his nose he's so invincible how is this possible little things like that and then there were also times where if they were so almost invulnerable to to damage or destruction why when uh, something happened to one of the characters that that ended up with some pretty bad injuries why wasn't he able to heal at all and so i i don't know if maybe i'm just kind of like sort of getting a little bit too nitpicky about it but the, the these little things and and also i i already mentioned about sort of the progression of a thought process that some of the characters had taken uh, like how they would suddenly figure things out and i didn't know how it had happened and you know i don't know if that really falls heavily into con territory but these were just little little things that i noticed as i was watching it little little things that i wrote down even though i don't go by a script when i when i do these reviews i have taken to making notes so that i don't forget some of the stuff that i wanted to mention that stood out to me as i was watching it uh, things that i noticed in here a couple of things that were interesting to me the I honestly, and it really shouldn't be something that's surprising to me. It, in in some ways it wasn't, but there were times in here, like there were certain love songs that were, that were uh, played in the background when it would show, you know, these guys feeling all sappy over this woman or whatever. And it was just like, it almost felt like a, a almost a reverence for women, like a, like a crazy, like just idolization of of females and I almost felt a little a little over the top but at the same time probably not really because that same sort of thing happens in a lot of the movies here so another thing was also it took me a little bit to get used to the attire because a lot of times and I don't know and I'm really not very knowledgeable at all about whatever this garment is that the men were wearing it's almost like it's like this long skirt but then at times they will pull it up and they'll they'll almost use it as like culottes or like shorts or something and to be honest it looks it looks so what's the word i'm searching for um inefficient and inconvenient that piece of that piece of clothing because they were constantly taking it down or pulling it up to get it in position and constantly having to put it back in position and then taking it down again and then they pull it back up again it was just like a constant thing and I was like wow that looks like such a pain to have to be doing that all the time you know anytime you want to run or walk you have to do this thing with it and then you let it down again and just i don't know what that garment is called but that looks like it, it looks very uh, uh troublesome to have to keep up with all the time anyway i don't know those were just things that i noticed but it that wasn't anything that was a con i'm just i'm just kind of mentioning different things that stood out to me as as i was watching this but overall this movie was a really fun experience it took me about three days to watch it because i watched it i guess i don't know like in 50 minute chunks and i'm now on the lookout for another similar type of film maybe something horror related or maybe like a detective story type of, you know, mystery type of thing. Another superhero sort of film. There was a um, trailer for a movie that I watched a while back. I think it maybe the, na the name of the movie was War, I think. Uh, a, a, film, a film from India, and I think it was from India. And it looked pretty cool. And I remember expressing interest in it, but I never got around to watching it. It looked like it was like an action-y type of, type of movie. So I was thinking about checking that out after I was watching this because like, I was like, this is really, this is really good. I like this movie. I could see myself watching more, more movies 
like this. And so, yeah, now I'm going to kind of dig around some more in Netflix and see if there's any other, you know, really fun movies to check out. Unless you guys can think of others off the top of your head that I don't know about and I can just go ahead and dive right into the to the next one. So anyway, okay, well, I think that's it. I think I've touched on everything about it. Yeah, I think that's it. Watch me think of something else after I've turned this off. But I just wanted to share my thoughts about this movie. And if you guys like this type of thing and you have Netflix, be sure to check it out. I, I think this is something that anyone who likes superhero genre films would probably appreciate. And especially if you like things like some comedy and some character drama and I don't know just it just had a little mixture of everything honestly so I, I really appreciated how the story was woven together and how well written it was and I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for other films like this so yeah I guess that's it do you have anything else oh holy cow yeah that's pretty late so I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. And thank you again to the person who recommended this to me. And um, yeah, I jumped on this pretty fast. Doesn't always happen. But I was in, I had time and I was in the mood. So um, yeah, glad I did. Okay, you guys, that's it for now. Later. Later.